For over 160 years, Derby has been at the centre of development and manufacturing of rolling stock and locos in the UK. But it's not just a history of manufacturing, there's also a history of testing and research. And with a skilled workforce and a host of ancillary companies in the area, it was only sensible that when Bombardier were looking for an outlet in the UK, Derby was their choice. Martin Bright, you're the Technical Services Director for Bombardier here in Derby. There's yes. been there's quite a lot of heritage and history that goes with these works, isn't there? Yeah, we've been building rail vehicles on this site since 1839. Uh, originally carriages and wagons, but now a much more modern product like these two Electrostar trains here. Now, I'd love to see one of these Electrostars being built from scratch, because I travel on one of these to work every day. OK, I think the first thing we ought to do, then, is start off in the car body construction area. Uh, the, the area is split into three uh, stages. What we've got here is the uh, underframe assembly area. In the centre of the facility is the roof assembly, and at the north end, uh, the body side assembly. So basically, a, a carriage starts like this? It starts here, yeah. With these extrusions delivered into us from our uh, extrusion subcontractor, we then load these extrusions into the underframe main fixture here, clean them, and weld them together. From the construction area, the individual body panels are transferred to the paint shop, where they are spray finished. Then they're taken to begin their journey down the giant assembly hall. This is the, uh, the body side stage, which is the, which is the first stage in one of the four main assembly areas. Uh, the body sides have been loaded into the fixture, and we're about to start fitting window units, which are glued into position. Once that is complete, the interior panels will be fitted out prior to these body sides being moved down the shop and erected into a, a final car. Each of the production lines has five vehicles in production at any one time. Here's a roof which I presume has now been finished. Yeah, this is a, a completed roof. Um, it's still sitting in its fixture. The fixture actually allows us to rotate the roof through 360 degrees, so it's always in the right position for the assembly people to work in. Next to the roof, an upside-down floor panel was having all the necessary wiring, pipes and fixtures fitted that make it ready to receive the modules for power, plumbing, air conditioning and lighting. Once complete, it is moved on down the line to be joined to the two side panels. Now this is beginning to look more like a carriage. What stage are we at now? Uh, we're at the erection stage. What's happening in here is that the underframe has been located into the fixture uh, the body sides have been moved down from the body side stage and are located on the yellow reference fixtures. Mm -hmm. We're currently waiting for the roof to come down. Once that's located in position, the vehicle is hook bolted together. So this is where the doors are fitted. How's it done? We've, we've fit the door location fixture into the door aperture first, which allows us to mount the header gear in the same position every time. Right. The doors are hung on the, the rails at the top and located onto the rollers at the bottom. In an adjacent workshop, the cab units were being assembled. The complicated mouldings for these are the only piece of bodywork that are made outside the plant, as it is more economical to do so. They arrive as empty shells, into which all the control and communication equipment is fitted. So this is one with the cab on it. So what's the, the final process of the, uh, the construction, is it? The, the vehicle's currently standing in the traction and interior fit-out stage. So what we do here is we fit all the heavy underframe equipment, that's traction equipment, brake equipment, uh, toilet tanks. So the, the only thing, once it leaves this stage left, is bogeying, fitting of seats, and general cleaning of the car. So here we are then, a, a brand spanking new Electrostar. What's it doing here at the moment? Uh, we're, we're actually on the dispatch line at the moment, uh, so the train is having its exterior decals applied, uh, any final touch-ups on the paint done, uh, and the interior cleaned. Well, it's a lovely interior. You've got a very bright, airy, light, comfortable-looking uh, carriage here, Martin. And just yeah. to think that this morning when we saw those aluminium extrusions 
we've managed to make a whole Electrostar. How many of these do you have on order? This particular version of Electrostar, we're building 228 cars. That's 57 four-car trains. We have a current order book that uh, lasts in excess of uh, 10 years. So you're going to continue and carry on that tradition here in Definitely. Derby? Definitely. Derby will continue as a rail manufacturing plant.